In this video, we will explore an example to determine the perimeter of a polygon in a problem. Here is our problem. Jacob wants to put wooden shelves around his whole room for his pop collection. He purchased 24 feet of wooden shelves. The length of his room is 8 feet. The width of his room is 5 feet. Does Jacob have enough wood to build the shelves around his room? First, we will draw the room that is described. Now, let's label this figure with the given length and width Here we have a rectangle, and we are only giving two sides. We know that a rectangle's opposite sides are congruent. Therefore, we can fill in the missing lengths based on the properties and attributes of a rectangle. When determining the perimeter, it is important that the student sees that all sides need to be added. And since there are four sides, four numbers need to be added. So let's add 8 plus 8 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 26 feet. As you are modeling for the students, do not forget to include your unit of measurements. This is very important. Let's revisit our question. Does Jacob have enough wood to build the shelves around his room? Well, we have determined that he needs 26 feet. However, the problem states that he purchased 24 feet of wooden shelves. So here is what we are given, and here is what we need. Does Jacob have enough wood to build the shelves around his room? No, he does not and we can represent this using an inequality. Or we can use a method of subtraction to determine that Jacob is in need of two additional feet in order to have enough wood to build his shelves for his pop collection.